Hi, this is Tom with Avidyne, and we're talking about the IFD 550, and we're following along with the book Flying with the Avidyne IFD by Michael F. Bauer. We're on lesson seven here. In this lesson, we're going to talk about storing flight plans, retrieving flight plans, uh, copying them, inverting them, that sort of thing. In this particular scenario, uh, we've got the NOTAMs for flying from St. Paul into Oshkosh, and we want to preload those flight plans so when the FAM gets out to the airport, we can load up and go. So the clearance I have to get from St. Paul to Oshkosh is, uh, as you can see here, uh, Eau Claire looks like Maxima, Welch's, Ripon, and then Oshkosh. So we want to save that flight plan. So what we'll do is go over to the stored routes page, routes. So we'll go you know, a couple clicks over or just touch it. And we can copy that active flight plan. So we hit the copy button and now it puts it in as one of our routes and it gives it a name. It called it STP to, to Osh. So if we want to, we can rename that flight plan. In which case I'll uh, bring up the keyboard and let's call it uh, Osh Space Air Venture. So now when we go back to the root list, it will be called Osh Air Venture. So I know that's what it is. Now, another thing we can do is we can invert a flight plan. So if we want, we can select that one. And instead of copying, we can invert. And now it's made one notice from Osh to STP, so we're heading back. Uh, of course, that's not the exact flight plan that we're given based on the NOTAM. So we're gonna wanna delete a couple waypoints and add a couple of waypoints. We, we need to take out Ripon, so we'll highlight it and clear it. And we'll take out this Welch's and clear it. But instead, we wanna add CEVMU. -C 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 so just use our insert cursor and enter a waypoint, C, E, B, and it nominates, that's correct. Add another waypoint, which is G Wiz. I love these names, G, W, I, Z, Z, G Wiz, enter. So now that's our actual clear, uh, per the NOTAM on, uh, on our return trip. And again, if we want to rename that one, we can come up here and call it home from Osh. And when we go back to our root list, so there's Osh Air Venture and there's home from Osh, they're preloaded, ready to go. So let's uh, let's clear the current route. So I'm gonna do is highlight that and hit clear and delete the active route. So there we go, now it's cleared. So if we go back to routes, there's no active route. Again, in the, in the real airplane, you can set your origin, but it'll know where you're at. KSTP, we'll put it in there for the demo. If we want to load one of these stored routes, so we, we simply scroll over to it. In this case, we let's head to Oshkosh now. We're going to activate that route. Actually, we're going to it really is we're going to load the route and then we'll activate uh, once we get it loaded. It says activate the route, so let's do that. And then it says activate the flight plan, in which case you do that. Now it'll make the first waypoint at the active waypoint and then you can continue on. So another thing we could do is if we wanted to create a new stored flight plan, so we could come up here under new route, hit enter, and let's put in a route from STP to just to Osh direct. Okay, Osh. So you could easily enter a, a route like that. And now it's in the list. And at any point, if you wanted to activate it, you can do that. So you can either build a flight plan and then copy it into the route list, or you can go in and create a new route in the route list and then activate it or whatever. If you want to delete any of the stored flight plans, again, scroll over it and hit clear and delete that flight plan. It'll disappear from the stored route list. If you're using ForeFlight to load a flight plan, if you're doing a flight plan at home on your ForeFlight and you bring it out to the airplane, it's going to transfer that stored route 
right into this root list and then you will activate it as we show here. We'll cover that in a separate video. But that's where all that happens, all that stored root management. So you can see that storing roots, loading different flight plans and uh, saving and storing roots and inverting them is really easy with the IFD. Next, we'll talk about um, holding patterns, entering holds, et cetera. Join us for that, thanks.